Hey now, welcome to Wednesday Wisdom, the day of the week where I share tools, tips, strategies, and tactics for us all to stay current and relevant on social media to generate leads, clients, customers, and sales. And today's topic for Wednesday Wisdom is all about what it takes to make money online. Do you have what it takes to make money online? And I'm not talking about persistence, resilience, or even your mindset. I'm talking about the digital pieces of the puzzle that you need to have in place so you can have an online money machine. If you don't know me or you're not familiar with me, I am Cecilia Faye Morris, the digital marketing maven, and I teach business owners how to build their brand and their business online using digital marketing strategies. I built my own empire using Facebook and Instagram ads. And now I share this knowledge with business owners who want to create incredible offers, great lead badniks, and awesome marketing campaigns, all of it using chat GPT and AI. And whatever site you're watching me on, give me some likes, some hearts, some shares. If you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and click the bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. And let's get into today's Wednesday Wisdom, how to make money online. What are the digital pieces that need to be in place so you can have an online money machine? If you don't have even just one of these pieces, it ain't happening, my friends. So without further ado, let me share my screen and show you exactly what you need to have an online money machine. All right, so you can see my screen and everything that's in purple are the digital assets that you need to make your online money machine work. I'm going to dive into each of them one by one. However, I want you to know that everything in purple you can create using ChatGPT and AI if you know what to say. So let's get into the lead magnet. The lead magnet is that thing that you're going to give someone in exchange for them giving you their name, their email, and maybe even their phone number. Your lead magnet can be a whole array of things. I got a list of over 70 lead magnets. If you want that list, type lead magnet in the comments and I'll send it on over to you. Your lead magnet, it can be a guide. It can be a quiz. It can be a checklist. It can be a template. It can be a report. It can be a video. Do I need to go on? Probably not. But your lead magnet, again, is the deliverable that you're going to give somebody. And it is going to solve a problem that your ideal client, customer, or business partner is having right now. A problem that they have been struggling with that you have the hot sauce in your bag to get them off the struggle bus and onto the bullet train of success. Your lead magnet should give somebody a quick win because your lead magnet is the lead in to you and your business. The next step in this digital marketing landscape, you need an offer. Now, let's not confuse the offer with the lead magnet because they're two different things. Your lead magnet is your deliverable. Your offer is how you communicate the benefits of your lead magnet. So I want to take a little time to kind of dwell on this benefits thing because you got to communicate in the language of your ideal client, customer, business partner. You got to meet people where they are. Don't expect them to come to you. Talk about their problem in the language that they would use to talk about their problem and talk about your solution in the language that you want to hear so they will take you up on your offer to get your lead magnet. A lot of times what people do is they get confused between features and benefits. So I'm going to take a little bit of time to talk about the difference between features and benefits. Features are facts about what your product or service does. The benefits are what your customer gets out of it. So, for example, nobody wants to buy a drill, but if we want to hang something, we need a hole in the wall, right? So, the benefit is that you're going to be able to hang your beautiful Picasso painting. The feature is this drill is super fast, or I don't know about drills, but you get what I'm saying. The feature is the drill. The benefit is that you're going to be able to hang your picture. I'm going to give you another example because I just left the eye doctor and I got two sets of eye drops. I got these right here, which are artificial tears. And I got these right here, which is restasis. So this is restasis. This is artificial tears. The feature of both of these is that they're going to help me with the dry eye. The benefit, though, is restasis. I only have to use once or twice a year. I mean, a day. I wish a year, right? <laughs> once or twice a day, the artificial tears I use whenever my eyes start feeling gritty or like, you know, I just feel like I need to lubricate them. So my doctor gave me these two because she wants me to try the restasis 
to see if it reduces the amount of time or times that I need to use the artificial tears. So again, the feature, they help with dry eye benefit twice a day, multiple times a day. So that's just another example of features versus benefits. If you have trouble differentiating the features and the benefit of your lead magnet, ChatGPT can help you out with that. All right, so I want to get into it a little bit more because there are levels of benefits. I don't know if you've heard of this, but there's a thing out there that is called the benefits pyramid. So the benefits pyramid starts at the bottom with features, next up is advantages, next up is benefits, and then next up is the ultimate benefit. So I'm going to spend a little time talking to you through the benefits pyramid. So again, features is the lowest level, and again, features is what it does, right? <clears throat> And so when you're talking about features, you don't want to talk about features. Let me say that. You don't want to talk about features. So if I wanted somebody to say, sign up for my coaching program, I'm not going to tell them that we meet once a week. I'm not going to tell them that we have a Facebook community. I'm going to talk about what getting in my coaching program is going to do for them and how it's going to benefit their business, right? People always want to know the wisdom effect. What's in it for me? That's what you need to talk to. What's in it for me? Nobody cares about features. They want to know what's in it for me. All right. And then the next step up from that is advantages. The advantages is what differentiates your product from your competitors. It's what gives you an edge. I remember when I first got started in this digital marketing place space and I was running Facebook ads. The advantage that I had from other Facebook and Instagram ad coaches was that anyone who signed up for my six month program, I would pay their first month of ad spend up to $300. So that's my advantage. That's how I differentiated myself from the marketplace. What is your advantage that you can differentiate yourself from what's already in the marketplace? The next level up from that, again, is the benefits. Some examples of benefits are people want to look attractive. They want to be respected. They want to be loved or admired. They want to be more productive. People want to make more money. They want to be happy. They want to have good health and less stress and more time with their friends and family. Those are some of the benefits that you need to touch on when you are sharing the benefits of your lead magnet with your offer. And the big thing that you need to remember when you talk benefits are the things people want to avoid. They want to avoid sickness. They want to avoid uncertainty. They want to avoid pain, fear, and guilt. So think about what they want to avoid and think about what they're going to get if they accept your offer to get your lead magnet. Now, the advantages, again, are what sets you apart from the competitors. The benefits are the base level benefits that people are going to get. Let's now talk about the ultimate benefits, right? The ultimate benefits are those things that are going to really set you apart from the pack, right? The ultimate benefits involve a bit of psychology because people are going to make decisions based on emotions. If you've been in any of my trainings, I share with you um, decisions, buying decisions are 80% emotion and 20% logic. So if you can tap into the emotional aspect of why people need your offer, you're 80% of the way to getting the sale. And that's where the ultimate benefits come into play. So your goal is, again, tap into those emotions so that way you can create emotional connections with your ideal client, customer, business partner, get them over the hump, say yes to your offer. The way you get into the ultimate benefits of your product is you got to have an intimate knowledge of your ideal client, customer, business partner. That involves doing some market research so you can understand the wants, hopes, fears, dreams, goals, and desires of your ideal client, customer, business partner so you can talk about how the features of your lead magnet will give them the benefits that they desire. Again, this can be done with ChatGPT if you know exactly what to say to ChatGPT to get the results that you desire. So let's head on back over to my example here. We covered the first two pieces in the digital marketing puzzle. We talked about the lead magnet, which is the deliverable, and we talked about the offer, which is the Herbage that you use to describe your lead magnet to make it sexy enough for someone to want to give you their name and email. 
how do you collect their name and email? Well, you have a landing page. Your landing page can be a simple landing page that somebody enters their name and email to get this thing, or it can be a more complex landing page where you give them more information about the benefits of your lead magnet. Whichever way you go, the purpose of the landing page is to collect the name and email. If you're not collecting names and emails, how are you going to deliver on your lead magnet? And the answer is you can't because you don't have their information. Now, there is a way around this, and some people do this, but I do not subscribe to this philosophy. Sometimes people will just instantly give them the lead magnet, right? So when people click on your offer, then they'll be immediately directed to the lead magnet. The reason why I don't subscribe to this philosophy is because the money's in the list. And at any given time, any of these social media platforms can say, bye, Felicia. What do you do if you don't have an email list? Then you're starting over from scratch. Your email list is where the money is made. Only 1% to 3% of people will take you up on your offer the first time they see it. The other 97% of people need you to love on them a little bit and nurture them before they're ready to pull the trigger. So your landing page is where you're going to collect the name and email and maybe phone number to deliver your lead magnet. You're always going to tell people on the next page, check their email to get their lead magnet. Another philosophy some people do is they collect the name and email and then immediately deliver the product to the prospect. I don't personally subscribe to that philosophy because I want to train people to check their emails because not only am I going to give them this, but I want them to get used to seeing me in their inbox. So whenever I send something, they're more likely to open it up. So on the next page, after the landing page, that's when you are going to, one, tell people to check their inbox, get that thing you said, but two, you've already got them there, their captive audience, so to speak. Why not offer them some something that is both consistent and congruent with your lead magnet, but it will help them get results faster, easier, better than if they just had the lead magnet alone. So the next opportunity for you to wow your ideal client, customer, or business partner is to offer them an upsell. An upsell is something that they'll pay anywhere from anything, 47 to $97 is what I subscribe to, to get this new thing that will help them with their lead magnet. That is your upsell. The next thing after that, the next page, is your down sale. The purpose of the down sale is to catch the people who might not want to spend $47 to $97, but they might spend, say, $7 to $37. So you want to give them a low-ticket offer that is still congruent with your original lead magnet that will still help them get results, but it won't help them get results as fast or as good as if they got the upsell. So does that make sense? So let me run through this again. Let me give you an example. So when I was doing my um, AI marketing workshop, the one day AI, one day, one hour AI work, marketing workshop where I showed people how to create an entire marketing campaign inside of ChatGPT, they would sign up for the workshop. On the upsell page, I would offer them the opportunity to get a workbook, the replay, and a few extra bonuses for $47. If they didn't want that, then on the next page, I was like, okay, you can get the workbook for $7. So even if I didn't get them for $47, I still had the opportunity to sell them the workbook, which would still help them during the workshop, but they wouldn't have the advantage of the replay and all the other bonuses if they would have gotten the $47. You get what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? I hope so. All right. So the next step in this is... How are you going to tell your ideal client, customer, or business partner that you got this amazing thing, that you got that hot sauce in your bag? How are you going to let them know that you are there to solve their problem? Well, you're going to do it with marketing content. You're going to create content that is geared around what your lead magnet does and the benefits that your ideal client, customer, or business partner are going to get. How do you create this marketing content? Well, once again, what did I tell you about all the purple circles? All of this is done inside of ChatGPT. I literally mean all of this is done. So let me back up, rewind, <laughs> rewind for a second. You can go into ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to do the market research about your ideal client avatar. Then you can ask ChatGPT to give you five to 10 examples of lead magnets that your ideal client, customer, business partner wants to get their hands on. Then you can tell to create the lead magnet and then you can ask it to create the offer. So now let's go back to the marketing content. Fast forward to the marketing content. The marketing content, you can create a 
14 day, 21 day, 30 day. You can use ChatGPT to create an entire marketing plan that all leads back to your lead magnet. Now, the thing about your marketing content is you don't want to just scream, get my thing, get my thing, get my thing. You want to weave in a few success stories, maybe a couple of quotes. Maybe you want to just say, DM me for more information. You don't want to give them a direct link. The thing about marketing content is that you need to switch it up to where you're not always screaming at people, get my thing. But your marketing content should either overtly or covertly tell people that, hey, I got the hot sauce in my bag. If you want it, here's how to get it. Again, ChatGPT can create your marketing content for you. That's your marketing content. That's what you're going to post on social like every day, right? Every day you should be posting something on your social if you have a lead magnet. And there's no reason why you can't post every day for two reasons. One, because ChatGPT can create the marketing content for you. And two, because there are free and paid programs that will allow you to schedule out your content as far in advance. I think Facebook lets you go like 21 or 29 days in advance. I don't know which, but it's 20 something days. And then there's like Hootsuite that'll let you schedule out. So many days. I mean, there's just no excuse why you can't post consistently when you can schedule it. Canva. Canva has a feature that lets you schedule content. So that's the next step is to create the marketing content. Then the next step in the puzzle is you have to have organic and paid marketing strategies. And again, when I'm talking about our organic and paid marketing strategies, like this video right here, you're going to have to put yourself out there. You're going to have to do some stretching of yourself, but everything happens outside of your comfort zone. So if you're not comfortable doing videos, that's fine. You upload a teleprompter in your phone, upload the script in your teleprompter, record yourself reading the script from your teleprompter. If you're not comfortable with speaking yet, um, because you're going to want to get there, then Set yourself up a tripod. I got this from Amy Porterfield. I've been in her training this week. Amy Porterfield, she just sets up a tripod and she records herself doing innocuous things like looking at her phone, working at the computer, maybe making a sandwich. She records herself and then she puts text or music over the recording and then it tells people what to do next. And she doesn't even say a word. Um, so, and then there's AI tools, right? There's AI tools that will create a video for you. If you just upload a script in there, it'll do the whole video for you. And then there's an AI tool that'll duplicate your voice. So you can not only have the script, but it can be in your voice as well. There's a whole gang of stuff um, when it comes to your organic marketing strategies. Now, for paid marketing strategies, there's different philosophies of thought. Some people say, don't pay for Facebook or Instagram ads until you're making 10 figures in your business. I say, how the hell are you going to get to 10 figures in your business if you're not running Facebook and Instagram ads? The reality of the situation is, is that if the people on your social sites were interested in what you have to offer, you would be rich by now. So if you're watching me, you're probably not rich, which means you probably need to quit trying to sell your stuff to the people on your page because they're not interested in what you what it is that you have. Instead, you want to use paid marketing strategies, but you want to do it strategically. Nobody's saying to, you know, blow your whole wad on your Facebook ads. And then when it doesn't work, you're going to cuss. Zuckerberg and the boat he rode in on, you need to be strategic with your paid marketing strategy. And again, not only can ChatGPT help you create great content for your paid ads, but when you have a, someone who is very familiar with Facebook and Instagram ads, wink, wink, then you can make sure that you're putting quality ads out into the marketplace. Now, the next piece of this puzzle is the email autoresponder. And the reason why this is in purple is because you don't need ChatGPT for this. You just need to buy a MailChimp, whatever, active campaign, um, whatever else. I'll Go High Level's got the email responder and a bunch of other stuff built in it. But your email autoresponder is the way that you can have an online money machine because it's going to deliver your lead magnet to the people who ask for it 24-7-365. You do not want to have to personally respond to every single person that asks for your email, I mean, asks for your lead magnet. And that's what an email autoresponder is there to do. And then the last piece of this digital marketing puzzle is your email marketing follow-up. Remember I said earlier, only 1% to 3% of people will take you up on your upsell or your downsell the first time you see it. At the 97%, you're going to nurture them through your email sequence, always leading back to your upsell offer. Again, ChatGPT can help you with that as well. All right, my friends. So there you have it. That is everything you need 
make money online. There's everything you need to have an online money machine. What parts of this puzzle are you missing? Are you missing a lead magnet? Well, then let me help you come up with the lead magnet. If you don't know how to effectively articulate your offer, let me show you how to use ChatGPT to do that. If you don't know what to put on your landing page, let me show you how to tell ChatGPT what you have so it can tell you how to create a compelling landing page. If you don't have an upsell, well, remember earlier when I said ask ChatGPT for five to 10 lead magnet ideas, pick three. The first one that you like the most is your lead magnet. That's your freebie. Your number two is your upsell. Your number three is your downsell. Boom, voila, there you have it. You don't have marketing content? Let me show you how to tell ChatGPT to create a 30-day content plan that leads people down the yellow brick road that ends with you getting their credit card number. If you don't know how to best market your lead magnet organically or with paid marketing strategies, I'm your girl. And then last but not least, the email marketing follow-up. If you need help telling ChatGPT how to create a compelling email marketing follow-up series, then you need me. <laughs> there you have it, my friends. Again, I hope you understand that all of these pieces of the puzzle need to go together and talk to each other in order for you make money online. If any one of these pieces are missing, it ain't happening, right? A lot of times people talk about, let me help you create a lead magnet. Well, a lead magnet is great, but what happens after they get the lead magnet if you don't have nothing else? Then nothing's happening and you're not making money. So it's got to be a lead magnet, upsell, a downsell. And you don't necessarily have to have a downsell, but I just encourage it because that gives people another opportunity to partake of something that you have to offer that's also a low ticket item. So there's a low barrier to entry. So I hope you found this beneficial, my friends. Again, if you are missing any piece of this puzzle, then you need to get in on magic. Mastering AI Genius in Content Marketing. Inside of my magic program, I show you how to do everything that I talked about on this video, and I show you how to do it using ChatGPT. It will shave months, if not years, off of your learning curve, so that way you can get your lead magnet into the hands of the actual people who want to do business with you. In order to get in on magic marketing, again, that's Mastering AI Genius in Content Marketing, click somewhere around this video so you can get more information. That's it for today's Wednesday Wisdom. I am Cecilia Morris, the Digital Marketing Maven. Let's go out there and make marketing magic together so you can have an online money machine. Bye for now.